Welcome back to another J-Rock video. In this one, we're gonna talk about the three things you should be doing to get in your lawn ready for winter. Firstly, it's these guys, okay? It's your nice straight edges. So if you've got a lawn that's going a bit wild or you haven't really got it in check, just before we go into winter, I like to keep, or at least make sure that everything's sort of nice and tidy. So these lines I like to try and get put in as best I can. If you looked in uh, or tuned in in last week's video, hey, okay, then you'll see that I already took it back with an edger. So to get the finer cut, what I'll use is a strimmer. And what I'll do is I'll flip that over and I'll put these edges in so they look nice and crisp. So first one, edging. Then. So now that you've got nice crispy edges, it's quite simply you're ready to mow. What you want to do is you want to start raising your height. Personally, I'm going to change mine here from 25mm what I was cutting with the cylinder to 35mm what was last week with the, uh, with the Husqvarna to up towards sort of 42mm now. So what you're looking for is just at least a couple of uh, notches up from your usual sort of season cut just to ensure that there's that bit extra length to sort of help you through winter because the shorter it's going to be, the more prone it is to diseases. So anything that can help, then all the better. So top tip at this point, all you want to do is make sure that you try and knock off any dew that might be on the lawn in the morning and then cut later on in the day. This is just going to allow you to do a drier cut, what's going to be a cleaner cut. Anything past that is worm casts, right? Another one to look out for in the garden this time of year. You just want to make sure that if you can find them and if there is any there, you knock them down, wipe them, blow them off with a blower, whatever you need to do. And then all it's gonna do is stop you ruining the overall aesthetic of the garden basically by just having mud rubbed in everywhere. And lastly, you've got some form of lawn feed fertilizer. Personally, I put down this Total Lawn Autumn Lawn Feed that was down two, three weeks ago, I believe it was. And it's helped me get the color that I've currently got in this lawn. So if you search back, it was a lot worse beforehand. So something like this, an Autumn Lawn Feed, or you can also get these alongside Winter Lawn Feeds. Sometimes they're combined. I'll be putting these down sort of before the end of the first week of November, personally, is when I like to get them down. But they've got components in that's gonna help against diseases and frost damage. So a really key thing to start putting down. And it's got iron sulfate in. If you manage to get one that doesn't have iron sulfate in, then that's also a good separate product that you can put down separately. And all that's gonna do is help against sort of frost damage and sort of diseases or hard wearingness throughout that winter period. So I'll be doing that every sort of six weeks through the liquid application as well. And it's just gonna help keep a bit of color in your lawn and a bit more strength to sort of hit into spring. Right then, so that's the sort of three main steps you can do there to try and get your lawn in the best position going through autumn, through winter, and out the other side a whole lot better so that when we come to spring, it's gonna be one step ahead. So for them products that you've seen there from Total Lawn, in the description below, there'll be a link to their website just for any of their products that I'm currently using. There's also, if you use code JROCK Lawn Care, you'll get an additional 10% off. So, you know, saving every penny, why not? So that's about it for this one. Then three things are sort of the biggest things I can think of to sort of get the lawn ready and get it aesthetically looking pleasing. 
sort of during this time where things are starting to get a bit colder and you know we want to start preparing just so the lawn's got its best chance to get through disease free so thank you very much for watching this j-rock video if you can just like comment and subscribe and yeah we'll go from there we'll see you in the next video